So let's say you've created a template in Canva that you want to share with your students in Canvas and you want each one of them to get their own copy. This is how you set that up. So the first thing I need to do is create that template in Canva. So I'm going to do that by just creating a plain document the same way I would create any other. Now what makes it a template is when you go to share it. So now that I have my document finished, I'm going to hit the share button in the corner. From here, the option I want is something called template link. Now by default, I don't see template link show up in here. So I need to click see all. And once I tell it to see all, now template link shows up as an option. I choose template link. This tells me that anyone with this link can use this design as a template. It does require them to sign in and it will make copies of this file for each of them when they click on it. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to create that template link. Here it is. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to copy that link. Now I'm going to go over into canvas. And so in canvas, I'm going to go into a course and I'm going to create an assignment. And I'm simply going to call this assignment Canva template assignment. And I'm going to give it a point total group, etc. Most importantly, make sure I give it a due date. Now in the description of my template, this is where I'm going to paste in that link and I could do it a couple different ways. I literally could just command V to paste it in there and hit return, which generates a link, but it's kind of an ugly link. So if I wanted to, I could simply type some text and then highlight that text and then click my link button. And I want an external link and paste my Canva link in here instead. Now for my type of submission, I want this to be a file upload because students are actually going to be uploading something into this assignment once they've completed it. And I tell it to save and publish. Now from the student side, I see I have a new assignment. So I'm going to open up my canvas app. I'm going to go into that course. I'm going to go to assignments. And so I'm going to scroll down and find it and open up this assignment. So now you'll notice I have two different links. Doesn't matter which one I click on. They both work the same way. When I click on it, it's going to take me to Canva. I can tell it to continue with Google. Continue. And sign in with my school Google account. So now it tells me that a template has been created uh, and shared with me. So there's an option here that says use template for new design. That's what I want. Now it's important to point out that once I do this and I tell it to use a template for a new design, it will now create a new design in my Canva account that I can open up at any time. So if I ever need to get back to this later, I don't need to go back through canvas and click on that link every single time. All I would simply do is open up the Canva app. And then when I open up the Canva app, it's going to show up right here in my list. So I don't want to tell it to make a new copy every single time. So I click on it and now I can go ahead and edit. So it tells me up here at the top, I am in editing mode. So I can go through and make changes and edit my template exactly the way I need to. Now, when I'm finished, now as a student, I'm ready to turn this in. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it to share again on the student device. And it gives me a series of links down here at the bottom. I want to save as. And the format that I want here is called PDF standard. So if I tell it PDF standard and I tell it to download, it will then change my Canva file to a PDF. 
gives me a progress bar at the bottom. And now it asks me, what do I want to do with it? So here is where I'm going to find Canvas Student in my little share sheet here. And then it's going to ask me which course. I'm going to select my course. This is Mr. Wagner's course. It's going to ask me to select that assignment. And this was called the Canvas template assignment. And then I could simply add a comment if I want and then hit submit. Tells me my submission is successful. And now back on the teacher side, it tells me, hey, I have a new submission. Or I could open up the speed grader. And because I had them choose PDF, it gives me a PDF preview right here in the speed grader that shows me what it was that they submitted that I can then grade and uh, give feedback on.